Hope I'm not late. Good evening, good night, and have a pleasant tomorrow. Screwed that up. What's up, everyone? I'm the Devastating Just Cause, and this is DJC Game Studios. And this is the Amico News Authority. Wow. I am stumbling all over my tongue today. I cannot speak for the life of me. Um, Art is... Did you want to say anything? No, I'm good, actually. I bet you are. It's good. It's good. Good co-worker. How's the flamingo world uh, working out? Um, I deflated more. more. No kidding. Well, let's not talk about inflatable flamingos or wizards or any type of sorcery. Let's talk about this uh, statement that came out on the Intellivision website. Let's talk about it. So right here we have it um, on the Intellivision website, some corrections, and um, kind of like a open letter, if you will, um, statement of facts. The series says, says on January 6, 2022, the online technology review website Ars Technica published an article regarding Intellivision's forthcoming Amico Game Council. The author did not contact us to embed any of the information upon which the article was based. Unfortunately, information relied upon the article contained several errors of fact. The following corrections are submitted for the public good, and here we go. Uh, one, the article states that early 2021, Peak revealed less than $100 in combined parts per retail box, well below the system's current 250 pre-order price. Over 100% profit is unusual for a gaming console. So um, their answer to that is 100 is far below our cost of goods, which have never been that low and which have only increased over the last two years, especially during the global chip shortage, the 2021 peak uh, mentioned by the author references an unauthorized access of outdated, outdated confidential documents on our private developer website. They mentioned existing Android devices in which the, the time uh, developers could use to test their game. So basically a test kit or a dev kit uh, builds for, you know, basic functionality. Uh, those testing devices lack many of the features, such as the special base unit, the two controllers, and touch screens. So basically these are kits that are just enough to program and make games on. Not to mention the six-pack in games, which brings that value up. Uh, this explains why those mobile test devices can be purchased for a much lower cost than manufacturing a full-on retail Amico system. Uh, number two here, the article states, Game snippets from the console's earliest gameplay sizzle reel have yet to receive additional reveals or gameplay. Now, I already know that's <laughs> not right, but, you know, once again, no one says, you know. Uh, the reference sizzle reels links to August 19, 2019, a television Amico GamesCon trailer, uh, which showed, showed uh, snow snort short snippets of several games in development including moon patrol night stalker missile command side swipers colossal crash uh armor battle astro smash shark shark and breakout uh these games have ever, totally and i've seen these games these games have received multiple additional reveals or demonstrations uh they can all be found on uh, t official and television youtube because they've done all the deep dives we, everybody's talking about them um the article specifically mentions games known by indie devs like Choice Provisions and Other Ocean is lacking further reveals. Choice Provisions is the author of Breakout, which is further revealed and demonstrated in a YouTube video in August of 2020. Um, also another in February. As well as, that, if you remember, that was a demo, a playable demo on the app, too. You can actually play through it. I mean, through an, a level. Uh, Other Oceans is the author of Night Stalker, which further demonstrated in a YouTube video in January of 2020. Additionally, we released a playable demo of Breakout uh, for the PC, this is what I was talking about, on October 10th, 2020, and a playable level one demo of Moon Patrol on the Miko Club. That was the first one was the Moon Patrol. Um, so there you go. That's just another correction. And it's true. This is all like fact. You can look it all up. Uh, the article states Amico's near final OS didn't appear till the very end of 2021. Yeah, that's, that's not true. Um, we first demonstrated our Amico OS in a YouTube video on August 5th. Yep, I remember that because it had the little robot screwing in the light bulb uh, thing. Um, I remember that video. Um, once again, links to, to all this. Uh, over over a year and a half ago, um, some art and UI elements have evolved since the, you know, the basic functionality has remained. Um, also, 
The article mentions Amico's unfinished projects like Shark Shark and Missile Command. Well, I've played those of many. Those are all done. Uh, what's it say? While those titles remain unpublished, naturally, as the console is not yet launched, both Shark Shark and Missile Command are finished. The general public has played these games. Well, there you go. They said it extensively at our live demonstrations and have been demonstrated in detail and deep dives. Both these were deep dives. Uh, completely finished. Uh, number five is the article states Amico's UI forces users to pick through. Oh, this was a big one. To pick through icons of every game, whether its title's been purchased or not, that they were demonstrating the store. Um, well, let me just read what they say. The, the author may have gained a false impression from our demonstration of that, exactly, of the store section of our Amico UI, which shows all games, including own games. Yeah, that, there's a my, and it says here, yeah, right here, including uh, my games. There's a, there's a ease of browsing in a my games category that contains only your purchase games. This was they were showing the store and how to buy a game. That's when it showed all the ones that were un. It, they don't throw it all into like one. Um, this is shown in a sneak peek. Once again, another another link. Uh, other categories group names by John uh, genre 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 such as sports action family. So you can put them in categories, but your my games is the ones that you own. When you go into the store. Yours will be in there with other other ones you haven't purchased. So, um, uh, oh, there's a six. The article presents uh, Amico as a retro console, stating its subheading a decent retro console console idea for 2018. It goes on to use this framing to compare Amico on price point to game catalog to other offerings in the, in the retro marketplace. Amico's game catalog does overlap the retro console console market, but our vision and mission have from the beginning. Uh, targeted a broader spectrum of games that vastly broader demographic that includes many more segments than just retro. Our initial engagement has been with retro gamers. Well, of course, because me, because I remember in television. Um, but uh, and, and that their main market is going to go for for older people. Your plus under seven, you know, um, the children too. It's with, and families and children and casual gamers is what the. I'm going to stop. I, I just need to read. <laughs> um, Initial engagement has been with retro gamers because they are early adapters, adopters and, and already recognize our Intellivision brand. However, Amico's appeal design ex extends far beyond our valued retro gaming supporters who are already recognize that families with kids be the broader beneficiaries of Amico family-friendly approach to video gaming. Kind of what I said. Uh, our mission with Amico is to provide family-friendly multiplayer games that are easy to pick up and suitable for all ages, skill levels, uh, to all play together. All of our games, whether brand new, adapted, or retro reimagined, are crafted to include multiplayer, couch, couch co-op, wow, sorry, and to provide simple, affordable family entertainment that the whole family can enjoy with no ads and no in-game purchases. Uh, sincerely, Phil Adam and John Alvarado, Senior Management in Television Entertainment. So right here, you go to Intellivision.com, you can see this. I will throw the link down here so you can click the direct link um, in that article. That's a lot of information. Uh, link, once again, will be in the, this video uh, description, so please check on that. Uh, these are your facts released to public, so a lot of stuff there. Wow. Um, you know, them comparing uh, prices on uh, programmable dev kits with no you know, with nothing on it, you know, uh, uh, saying, that, well, that's so low and you're making 100% profit. No, because the manufacturer of Miko is... They don't get is, it. Uh, ...with the two controllers and the actual base unit, like a full retail, is going to be a lot more. Um, yeah, a, lot of, a lot of cool stuff in there. Um, so hopefully this kind of corrects a lot of things. And, like, me personally, and like I said, anybody could go out to an event, just depends... Obviously, in the area, I know not everybody can make it to one, but, but yeah, I've played these these games and uh, and they're they're very well finished. Um, I've seen a lot of other games behind the scenes, uh, which a lot of other people at that event saw too. I was. Um, and no, they don't have Pac-Man. Yeah, they do. They totally have Pac-Man. They always have. Maybe in the future, get that Namco license. I right? made that up. <laughs> No, but there is a lot of cool ones um, that has not been announced because they got to save something, you know. I think this company has been way more transparent than most. I mean, you're not going to get this from all these other from the other big three, um, where they share so much stuff before it even comes out. Um, and I think they get a lot of flack for that. Um, am I biased? Yeah, a little bit because I'm a fan and I like it and I do support it. Um, but anyways, other than that, that's all we have. I know there's a lot of information to go through. A lot. Nothing too silly. Except this guy. Um, whatever. Exactly.
But please like and subscribe. Yes. And we'll see you in the next one. Sounds nice. That's really nice. These are fake. Just for, just for the effect. Stuff's upside down, too. <laughs> it's silly. It's silly. Uh, such a silly effect. Hey everyone, remember me from like two seconds ago? Well, I want to introduce the new Amico News Authority official t-shirt. Ooh, long sleeve too. <laughs> Keeps you warm and snuggly. These are available nowhere.